Helen Hayes MacArthur Rose Award is presented to a truly special person who not only exhibits remarkable strength in their own recovery, but who shares their strength and friendship with others facing similar challenges. Like our namesake, Helen Hayes MacArthur, Michael, also known as Mikey, has been a beacon of hope and friendship for all those he has met at Helen Hayes Hospital, and he is very deserving of this special honor. In August of 2022, Mikey was tragically hit by a motor, motor vehicle. This accident left him with a traumatic brain injury, multiple fractures and injuries to his spine, a left clavicle fracture, bilateral tibia fractures, and bilateral nerve injuries below the knees. Mikey was initially admitted to Helen Hayes Hospital under the New York State Neuro Recovery Program, which meant he was in a minimally conscious state. He presented with quadriplegia, a trachostomy tube to help him breathe, and a peg tube, which was being fed, he was being fed through, all with a cervical collar in place. He was completely dependent and had no active movement in any part of his body except his eyes. He was unable to communicate or produce voice. He was only responding to auditory startle, visual fixation, mouth closure when presented with a stimuli, and eyes opening without stimulation. Mikey was also suffering from bouts of vomiting during his first few weeks at Helen Hayes Hospital, and in October, he was transferred back to acute care where he was, was found to have had gastroparesis. When Mikey was readmitted to Helen Hayes in November, he truly began to progress. While he was still, de still dealing with the nausea, he was no longer under the New York State Neuro Recovery Program. He had the tracheostomy tube removed and was communicating with few words and answering yes-no questions with very small head nods, but continued to have mild to moderate cognitive linguistic deficits in a variety of areas. The cervical collar came off he began to put weight through his legs, and he was able to initiate movements with his right arm. Mikey also started to complete tasks such as feeding himself, brushing his teeth, speaking loudly, and sitting upright. His height of 6'7 was an added challenge, but the, st <laughs> but the staff worked diligently to figure out what equipment would work best for him. Mikey's surgeries were not completed until about halfway through his stay at Helen Hayes. In February of 2023, he had surgery to lengthen his Achilles tendons and hamstrings, which left him in bilateral full leg casts for weeks. Once he was able to remove the casts, his progress accelerated tremendously. He began to stand and walk using a platform walker. He was able to wash and dress himself. Mikey also graduated from speech therapy, which was truly a remarkable accomplishment. Despite Mikey's many challenges and medical complications, he always found a way to make patients smile. For being one of the youngest patients here at 16 years old, he was always focusing on the positive in himself, in other patients, and in staff members he encountered. He made friends quickly with other patients, whether in the therapy gym or recreational group programs. He knew everybody by name and even introduced his therapist to patients and staff members. Mikey also knew all staff he encountered by name and always made sure to say hi and give them hugs whenever he saw them in the hallway. Throughout his nine month stay, Mikey continued to encourage and support countless patients to work hard every day. He became fast friends with Kadeem who you will hear about later. They made a unique greeting to one another every time they saw each other that they refer to as their bro call. <laughs> he would encourage other patients to participate in therapy. He was also cheering on patients all the time in therapy. Despite what they were working on, he made it his business to help some patients who were confused feel at ease and even help them to remember things. At one point, Mikey witnessed a patient in the parallel waters who was frustrated during his therapy and didn't want to participate. 
We were wheeling Mikey out of the therapy gym because at that time he was unable to wheel himself. Mikey asked the therapist to turn the wheelchair around and to approach the patient so that he could encourage him. He approached this man and he said, you can do this. I know that you can. The older patient looked at Mikey and there was an unspoken language that he could relate to seeing a teenager in a wheelchair. That patient immediately attempted to pull himself up in the bars. Mikey worked so hard each and every day and never gave up despite the challenges that he experienced. On June 30th of 2023, he was discharged home with his family. He required only minimal assistance for walking and getting dressed, and he was at his baseline cognitively. He was also attending classes of his junior year of high school while at Helen Hayes Hospital, and took his Regents exams during his stay. We tried to help Mikey study for his history regions. We Googled the questions, <laughs> but quickly realized that we were unable to answer them. And we did not have an answer key. We are happy to share that Mikey passed his regents exams. Mikey had a personal goal to stand and shoot a basketball before he left Helen Hayes Hospital. And this was a challenge in and of itself at six feet, seven inches tall, as Christina had stated. But he met that goal on the basketball courts with the staff by his side. Mikey has a, pa a passion to make people smile and have fun wherever he goes. He has a second chance at life and he made his best out of his nine month rehabilitation step. Mikey, you made your mark on everyone in the hospital and you will never be forgotten. You inspired all of us during your stay at Helen Hayes Hospital and you continue to inspire us every day. You have become a part of the Helen Hayes Hospital family and you have a special place in our hearts. You are so deserving of the Helen Hayes MacArthur Rose Award. You exemplify everything that Helen Hayes represented. It is with such an honor to present this prestigious award to you. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. Without the care from Helen Hayes and the support of my family, 
I'm not sure if I could have made it this far. You are all my biggest fans. I will never, ever forget my time here, even if it was longer than expected. <laughs> Thank you all again.